what was your first experience with Bitcoin? And like, what, what drew you <laughs> into uh, it? it, it? Right, what was the attraction to uh, yeah. the tech? Yeah, so I uh, my first interaction with Bitcoin was actually transacting on the Silk Road. Um, you know, free Ross. Uh, <laughs> if any, if anybody listening uh, doesn't know the Ross Ulbricht story, that's uh, you know, it's a great story. Uh, you know, despite the fact that he was framed. Uh, so, so free Ross. Uh, but that was my first exposure to Bitcoin, and and first it just seemed like a sort of gimmick fad, uh, fake internet token uh, that. And I didn't even think twice about it. I didn't think about scarcity. I didn't think about, um, you know, anything else. Uh, and then sort of later uh, that year, uh, in early in 2013, was when I first started to look into it um, and, and sort of think through, you know, hey, what, what, why are people interested in this? Um, what is the appeal? Who works on it, right? Because, you know, admittedly, and this is kind of embarrassing, the first time I saw Bitcoin, I actually thought it was a company. I didn't realize it was this um, you know, sort of globally distributed network. I, I thought, you know, I was like, what's this company, Bitcoin? You know, who runs it? Well, what are they working on? I can't find their website. Yeah, they got some wild <laughs> ideas. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. I was like, this is kind of a crazy idea. I was like, I love it. Um, and uh, so that was uh, that was my first exposure. It wasn't uh, until later that I actually read the white paper. Uh, I tried running a node. Um, I bought uh, I bought my first Bitcoin before that. Uh, it was... Uh, Via, I, I did a Western Union transfer to Japan, actually, uh, to to buy money on uh, to buy Bitcoin on Mt. Gox. I'm um, still involved in that in that class action, uh, but it seems like we're getting paid. So th- there's some good things that happen. Um, and the you know once it all sort of clicked, um, you know how it was you know sort of resistant to to government shutdown. Uh, what the the sort of novelty was around, um, you know, having a digital scarce resource, et cetera. You know, once that clicked, uh, you know, everything kind of made sense from there. And uh, but it, it took me a long time. I remember uh, I looked at it recently. I was look I looked back at, you know, find, finding it from over five years ago to figure out what was the first thing I ever said about Bitcoin on the Internet. And the first thing I ever said about Bitcoin on the Internet it is played around with Bitcoin a little bit today. Uh, looks interesting, but not sure the UX is there for the mainstream. <laughs> and we're here five years later, and uh, the UX is substantially better. Companies like Coinbase exist now, BitGo, Ledger. Um, the, you know there are a number of great wallets. Uh, there are a whole host of exchanges. There's a lot of places where you can spend your Bitcoin. A lot of merchant payment tools. Uh, but the UX still, you know, could use a lot of work, and and uh, it's something that dozens of teams are working on. So it's awesome.